So, uh, Kez, just just tell us if you can your experience about uh, political indoctrination when you when you were at school. Tell us tell us what your experience was. Okay, so it's irrefutable. We all know schools have been rife with woke liberal thinking, but my perception uh, when I was a student was to actively seek you out. And um, I was encouraged to have reclusive and argumentative uh, exchanges with you. And I, I was literally, I remembered it today before I was coming on. I can remember in May 2019, late May, I was encouraged to protest against Esther McVeigh becoming, uh, when you try to stand uh, to be Tory leader, I kind of regret that uh, now because I wish he was because we wouldn't have had lockdown or anything. But, it, you know, we was actively encouraged in, to seek you out. And we talked about this when I met you uh, on Monday. Uh, we talked about how students in my class would all email you the same stuff and how we would have targeted response, uh, targeted emails towards you. Now, Kez, I didn't know that, that people were actively telling people to protest about me. I knew lots of things uh, were coordinated, but it's who was telling you to do that. If you'd come up with that of your own free will and decided you wanted to protest against me, that's fine. But to think your teachers or your professors at school are coordinating it, then this has to be the left. It has to be an indoctrination at school. I mean, what, I mean how did they go about it? What else did they do? Well, I mean, I didn't even know what you looked like. I didn't even hear your voice, but I was encouraged, you know, to that you were some evil lady who was going to take over the Tory party and that we just need to go and target you in Bingley. But it's, I mean, the left is turning education into an echo chamber. They have bitter, dangerous, radical, scary politics. And some teachers have become Marxist missionaries. They've, you know, they've made a pact with Karl Marx in hell to attack any Tory um, MPs. Now, Kes, people might say, well, look, you're just a, you're just a Tory who's just uh, complaining because uh, teachers were saying things uh, that they didn't like. What, what would you say to those people? Well, I mean, I've seen the light, if you like. I've, I wrote for the um, Socialist Worker, the Morning Star. I have uh, lobbied and petitioned you th several times. Um, it was actually when I left education, I spoke to other people. It was two of Tony Blair's most senior advisors said to me, gosh, you're more right-wing than Nigel Farage. And I looked to myself, you know, I used to go around telling everybody I'm a democratic socialist. Uh, and then until leaving school and other people too have had this, I've actually thought for myself, OK, maybe I think differently. But you know what? That is really refreshing that despite people trying to indoctrinate mm. Kez, he says, no, I found my own way. The thing that is horrifying is that you were indoctrinated. But how do you stop it? I mean, what, can, what should the schools be doing, Ofsted be doing, government be doing? I mean, one thing I blame the most, it was the rise and the influence of, you know, the misopedian uh, government-hating teaching unions. And I actually think teachers are victims among anybody else because they're indoctrinated by the teaching union barons. And if they want to progress in their career, they have to, you know, follow the narrow uh, woke orthodoxy. And, you know, my dad, was, my dad was talking about it when he, he was forced to strike because otherwise his, uh, when he worked for Royal Mail, otherwise his colleagues would have a go at him. So I think it's, you know, I always say Margaret Thatcher did two mistakes. One was not defunding the BBC and the other was not shutting all the teaching union barons, uh, teaching unions because we've suffered greatly, especially me as a student. So I think it's, you need to tackle the teaching unions because they've become so political and they actually indoctrinate teachers, if anything.